Ella, 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 ella. Ella, 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 ella. Ella, 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 ella. Ella, 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 ella. We just wrote that song. Tony. Yes, George. You're the producer. Yes. Director. Yes. Writer. Yes. A little bit of a performer in it because you're doing some um, voice Wow. Well, we, we haven't decided whether that's going to stay okay. in or not. What do you prefer? Uh, I prefer directing and acting equally, but for me, it's not about the role; it's about the story. If, if, if the what it is that I'm working, if it's a good script and the story is good, as an actor, I want it, I want the character to be good, or it, the character has to have something to say, or at least be entertaining, or at least be poignant. And the same with directing; it's not it's not the work; it's the it's that stuff that you're doing it has to be important to me. That's what I love. Well, that's a good answer, Tony. Thank you, George. But if the MTC called you up today yeah. and said, yeah. you can choose one. This is play, it's the hottest play in town. Yeah. We want you to act or we want you to direct. Uh, what's the play? Pick one. The hottest play. The For, play that you love the most and you've gone, oh, I wouldn't mind being And is that. the character something I really want to play? Yep. Oh, no. Uh, I'm not sure. No, see if no, the it's, role, a, it's a character you really want to play. The character, but I really it's want a play, to play you really want to direct. Which one? Which one would you pick? If the pick role, one. if the role, I would act. If the role was what I wanted to play, but then the fraction of directing it would be not too far away, depending on the actors I had to work with too. Okay, well, with this, if it was well, Maria Theodorakis, no way. Um, but Capping she's yes. an AFI winner. Oh, and yeah, but that doesn't she's exist. She's got three anymore. gold medals. So, actor. huh? It's now actor. I, I so awards have got nothing to do with this. No, it's no, the person no. you want. That person you want. Look, I think you want to rock up to work and love who you who you're spending your day with. I don't know why you picked me. We did the proxy together. Yeah. I was a pain in the ass, wasn't I? No, no, you were good. I was a good. Am yeah. I going in this one? Yeah, fantastic. You've oh, got. You, you've really. You've because it's a. I reckon it's a challenge because you've got to go from a style that you've done for now consistently for ten years. Yeah. And now I'm telling you, the audience, you're not playing with them anymore. Yeah, well, they're you, observing you. Let them observe you. You're trying to direct that out of me, aren't you? You're trying it's to happen. stand up out it's of all me. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, well, for this show, not permanently. George. No, but I don't know how I'm going to get to stand up again because it's like a, a totally <laughs> different process. My brain hurts after this. It's hard work. It's actually hard work. If now, you're you interviewing me. I'm not. You're not talking about yourself now. Well, what about that person over there that's watching us? Oh, around? him. Don't worry about him. Yeah, okay. He's coming to the show. Are you? Yeah, that's lovely. We want to see you all at the show. Yeah. Anyway, George, what were you saying? Can't remember, but I also can't remember yeah. how we started this project. Like, so I was. And when I, was it? I, can't I can even tell you, it's about long. seven years ago. I saw seven him, years ago. I saw wow. George doing like you were doing stand up. I think at the Stecky of all places one night. At the Stecky when you came. To and the I said, George, yeah. we really need to do a show together because you know we're yeah. thinking about proxy and like creating a show, <clears throat> and being a big fan of Mother and Son and uh, and the style of a show called um, Drowsy Chaperone. I thought. Yeah. So we got together, we, we we improvised our ideas, Sally started documenting and it just sort of grew and grew and grew. So what we did basically, we got a video camera and we just started improvising on camera and Sally was writing all the notes down and piece by piece we put together. Just grew, layer and layer. And this is like, this, we've, we've had many, many drafts of this and uh, let's say we've written maybe, we've written maybe eight hours of material. And we're going to present 90 minutes of it. Yeah. So it's, it's the first script was totally different to this one. I yeah. mean, there were bits in it which just evolves and changes. And the life. idea was a similar idea, but in we even years, we even one stage thought, oh, because it's called Life of Byron, which is a play on the life of Brian. Yeah. Because everyone the, the, calls Byron Brian. Brian the Jewish Byron. the Jewish mother and son story. Ours is the Greek one. Um, and so we write this whole, whole scene about Lord Byron. But it just didn't, it just, it was, we've got, we went off on a different political and thought, yeah, uh, yeah, let's bring yeah. it back about yeah. what is happening in Byron's life and how does Byron deal with women in his life and why is it always his mother's And we've fault? included, instead of my character doing long monologues about people in his life, we've included the characters through Maria Theodorakis, who plays all the different characters in Byron's life, yeah. which has given it an extra zing, hasn't it? Yeah. Look, you know. In, in short form, Byron's a Greek Australian man who, upon reflection, blames his mother for everything. His Which, widowed young mother. Okay, I've got an, an, another question for you. Yeah. In Byron, 
the life life of Byron, yeah. the mother yells a lot. Mm. Is that because your mum yells a lot? Did she yell a lot at you? But there's uh, a lot of yelling. I think it's, yeah, look, my mum does have a louder tone. But I, I think that's sort of representation of, like, the male tends to hear the female voice <laughs> as a yell. <laughs> Whether that be their mother, their wife, their partner. We tend actually, to we've got it. a scene. In, we in tend a, to hear it as yelling. We've we got, got a scene in the play now where the mother's actually being nice to Byron. He's going, stop yelling. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like a yell to us. Um, but, you know, you've got to come and see Life of Byron because you, for me, Greeks in Australia, we represent about a million people. I don't know there's a huge amount of us. But we're not represented in TV, film and theatre land. We were at one stage, but then kind of... Not in the comedies, though. We're not the flavour of the month at the moment. But only in, in sort of a certain stereotype comedy. What we're trying to do is make it mainstream. This work is about letting the characters that we're listening to, what we're watching, to have a Greek story base to it. Yeah. Could have been Jewish, could have been Italian, could have been... Let's encourage Greekness. I've got two teenage boys, they think they're Lebanese. That's as close as they come to being Greek. So let's get the Greek back, okay? So come and see our show. Come and see a story about being Greek, growing up in Australia or growing up anywhere else in the world except Greece.